This is a 2021 Ram 1500 Rebel that I'm standing next to. In this video, I'm going to take a pretty comprehensive look with you over the, the equipment groups that Ram has for it, the functional packages, the appearance package, the optional equipment. We're going to start first with the uh, equipment groups. Let's go. Ram has three different equipment groups that are available on the Rebel. You get the base, the, level, the Rebel Level 1, and the Rebel Level 2. Most of the differences are on the interior of the, the trucks, but there are two uh, on, the, on the exterior. First is on the Level 1 equipment group, it has the, the black handles. So let's see what we're going to talk about is the mirrors. On the level, Rebel Level 1 and Level 2 equipment group, you have this uh, courtesy lamp that is underneath uh, the, the mirror for when you're stepping out at night. You also have the turn signal indicator in the mirror. It is an auto dimming uh, mirror on the driver's side. And then when you get inside of the vehicle, it is uh, power folding. You have a foam insert in the door panel for holding water bottles. For driver and passenger comfort, you have automatic temperature control with dual climate control on the level one equipment group, as well as having the heated front seats and heated steering wheel. Level one equipment group also gives you power adjustable pedals. You have the rear window defroster. And then there's also a, there's also the rear dome light switch. Level 1 equipment group will also give you the Uconnect 4 radio with the 8.4 inch display as well as having your sun visor with the vanity light. Alright now I'm going to go pull in our Rebel that has a level 2 equipment group on it. We're going to take a look at what the level 2 equipment group adds. Okay so here's our 2021 uh, Rebel with the max steel color on it. Starting on the outside, the level two equipment group gives us remote start. The second and third upgrade for the level two equipment group is you've got body color door handles here. It's kind of hard to see because of the rain. Um, and then it has the remote, uh, it has the keyless enter and go function on it. Rebel level two equipment group also gives you the rear uh the front and rear park assist you also get uh on the windshield wipers it's the rain sensitive windshield wipers there's also a security alarm on the level two equipment group but the rest of the uh, differences are in the rear rebel level two also gives you this uh, rear under seat storage compartment uh, right now it's folded up but we can unfold it by turning there and then folding it out and we get a little bit more storage back here you also have two usb charge only ports uh in the for the second row as well as having the three prong 115 volt outlet for the second row okay so the next area that we're going to talk about is the appearance package which there's only one on it it's the night edition appearance package uh the this uh, max steel one that we have does not have the night appearance package on it, but the red one does. So we're gonna get a good look at these side by side. Both of them have the same tire with the 18 inch Goodyear Wranglers. The regular appearance group on it has the, uh, the matte black wheels that have the machined look on the face. While the night appearance package has the 18 inch gloss black wheels. The rest of the differences here are seen on the front. Uh, we're really gonna look mainly at this uh, with the night appearance package on it but you have uh, the Ram grill black, the Ram grill badges in black, as opposed to the silver look. Then you also have the, the black front bumper plate, where that one has the silver look on it as well. It is available on all three, the base, the level one and level two equipment groups. All right, so next, let's take a look at what Ram internally calls the functional packages of the truck. First, we're going to start with the advanced safety group, uh, which is going to give us adaptive cruise control with stop and go capabilities, the auto dimming high beams or auto high beam headlamp control, lane keep assist helps 
which is going to use the uh, clearly defined lines on the road to help to apply torque to the steering wheel when you start to drift. And you can adjust those uh, parameters as far as how much how much you drift one way or the other as well as how much torque is applied to the steering wheel. Uh, and of course you can also turn that off. Next is the parallel and perpendicular park, park assist with stop functions and that's just going to help you park in those tight spaces if you choose to use it. The advanced safety group also includes pedestrian and cyclist emergency braking as well as the surround view camera system which gives you that 360 bird's eye view of uh, of the truck whenever you're uh, whenever you're in reverse with the backup camera on it also gives you multiple camera views with the camera on the front of the truck as well as the tailgate camera the advanced safety group is only available on trucks equipped with the rebel level 2 equipment group and they and it also must have the blind spot and rear cross path detection option added the bed utility group also gives you the adjustable cargo tie down hooks there's four of them that's on the rails back there uh, it gives you a Mopar bed step that's deployable uh, whether it's mounted on the corner or on the center mount uh, depends on which tailgate you have it also gives you the the bed lighting and if the truck is equipped with ram boxes you will have a the cargo bed divider included in that in order to have the bed utility group you have to have a you have to have rebel level one or level two equipment group added the cold weather group gives you an engine block heater and a mopar winter front grill cover uh, that is available on trucks that have the base package as well as the level one and level two equipment groups the comfort and convenience group is going to be a group of equipment that is going to combine some of the the features uh, that's on the level two equipment group uh, with uh, with some of the features that are available when you get the the luxury leather seats as a standalone option uh, but there are a couple of things that are exclusive to it so let's take a look at all of those together okay so the things that you find on the level two equipment group that are also on the comfort and convenience group is the body color door handles You've got the remote uh, tailgate release uh, that's available. On the interior is where we see uh, more of these similarities between the level two equipment group. You get the power uh, seat for the driver with the lumbar support, as well as having the power seat for the passenger. The comfort and convenience group also gives you this uh, the same media hub uh, for the charge only on the USB ports on the second row, as well as the 115 volt uh, three-prong outlet. Uh, it does also have heated seats for the second row. Exclusive to the comfort and convenience group is going to be the memory functions for the driver's seat and the side view mirrors. The comfort and convenience group is only available on the level one or level two package. Uh, if you get it with the level two package, even though there is all the, the kind of crossover there, you do also get those uh, the, the memory seats uh, that, uh, that we talked about. The Rebel 12 and Rebel 12A uh, packages are, are where you're going to see a lot of value. Uh, the big difference between the two is the Rebel 12 has the Harman Kardon system, where the Rebel 12A has the Alpine sound system in it. They both come with heated seats on the front row as well as the heated steering wheel. You get the HD radio uh, when you're on FM. It's got the Apple CarPlay, Android Auto capability. You got the dual climate control with automatic temperature control. There's LED lights in the footwell. And you also get the leather luxury seat that comes with the Rebel package. The next two equipment packages are the technology group and the trailer tow group. Uh, and those are both uh, pretty new for this year as far as the features that are in them. Okay, let's take a look at them. The technology group consists of the heads up display when you're driving. You also have the digital rear view mirror. Right now it's turned off. When I turn it on, that's the look that it gets. The third part of that technology group is the uh, new uh, third brake light up here, which gives you the LED lights. And also the camera for that digital rear view mirror is housed right there. I do have a video that I've previously uh, reviewed the technology group on, and you can access that by clicking on the link up at the top of the page. Adding the trailer tow group to, to your Rebel 
does give you the factory integrated trailer brake control setup. It also gives you the Uconnect 4 with the 8.4 inch display, the ability to perform trailer light checks and have uh, the tire pressure for your trailers monitored and showing on your driver display. And the big thing that it adds is the trailer reverse steering control knob. When we look at the standalone options, uh, some of these are going to already be included in equipment packages that we've already discussed. But you can, uh, you can, if you don't like those equipment groups and don't want all of them, you can kind of pair those down and get some of these things as standalone options. So let's take a look at these. Let's start with the trailer tow mirrors. You have two different options there for trailer tow mirrors. One is is labeled as the the black trailer tow power mirror, and that's just a power mirror uh, that has the trailer tow flip up option on it. And then the second upgraded mirror is a black powerful trailer tow mirror. When you press this button here, it will give a power fold to the mirrors. Next is your shift on demand transfer case, which gives you that four wheel drive auto setting there. The engine block heater is also a standalone option. The multifunction tailgate is another standalone option and it lets you open up the, the tailgate like a barn door or use the traditional drop down. Remote start system is, is available as a line item upgrade uh, on the base and level one. It is part of the level two equipment package. If you don't want all of the stuff uh, that's, that goes along with the trailer tow group, you can get the trailer brake control as a standalone option. You can also get a tri-fold bed cover from the factory. The next options we're going to look at are only available if you have the level one or level two equipment group. Three gallon fuel tank, the Alpine sound system, the four corner air suspension, the Park Sense front and rear park assist system, the Ram box cargo management system. These rear wheelhouse liners are only available if you have level one or level two equipment. And even though they're available uh, as part of package groups, if you want the Uconnect 4 with 8.4 inch display or the Uconnect 4 with a 12 inch display, you do have to upgrade to the level one or level two equipment group. In order to get the next three options, your truck has to be equipped with the Rebel level two equipment group. First is the blind spot and cross path detection system, which you also have to have in order to get the advanced safety group. Second is the dual pane panoramic sunroof. Finally, it's the 26 gallon gas tank, which also requires the 5.7 liter Hemi with the e-torque engine. All right, there you have it, folks. It's a look at the 2021 Rebel 1500, uh, the equipment groups, the functional packages, all those different things. Try to give you a good overview of, of what they are whenever you're looking at them and looking to buy one, okay? If you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave them in the comment section below. Let me know if there's anything that you'd like me to uh, to go over or to, uh, or to make a, a video on in the future. Thanks. Have a great day.